So, tell me your name. Uh, Trey James. And you went to college? Went to college at Snow College in Utah. And then from my went to Snow College in Utah, I transferred to University of Toledo. Okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, how many years you played there? I played two and a half years at uh, Snow College, and I played two and a half years. How did you like Snow College? I loved it. It was it was a it was a different feel. When you coming from an inner city, I'm um, originally born and raised in Baltimore. So coming from an inner city, you it's almost like, it's not it's like a culture shock, but it's like it's a good culture shock. It's like I'm so used to fast paced movement, and then when I got out to Utah, and then I was in Ephraim, so it was a small town. It was one street light, one McDonald's, one Walmart, everything. But it was a it was a nice town. Everybody everybody showed love to all the. When a game, when we had games, the whole town shut down, and I, I love that feeling. Like I love being able to just clear my mind. Like in the city, there's so much going on, but then when you out there, you love it because you able to think, and I think that just make you overall more of a mature person and a humble person. Yeah, I'm very appreciative. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. I, I wanted, and I actually brought my cousin out there with me because it was being from where I'm from. A lot of things happen that. A lot of people don't want to endure, hmm. and I just see my family going down to a path where things we live in a place where things may not go like we wanted to. So I wanted to bring my cousin out there because I knew he had talent too. So it was just a family-based thing, and from there we just loved it. Like we want to go back and and raise our family there. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I've been there twice. I can't wait to go back. Oh, yeah, man, it's dope. Um, stupid question: the driver's license. Yeah, I got my driver. I drove. I drove up here. I'm dedicated to my my, my passion, man. I drove up here seven eight hours last night. Wow, from where? Baltimore. From Baltimore. Damn. Well, you came from Baltimore. Yeah. So I went. I went to pit. So I went. I mean, I'm I'm always like, if somebody need help, I'm doing it. My my boy don't got a car. I went all the way to Pittsburgh, picked him up, and then you know Columbus is down. Yeah. So I went to Pittsburgh. Then from there, stopped, and I drove, and then picked him up. He slept. And drove all the way back down to Columbus. You got to man. If you if you love it, you got to. It's, and I guess it's just I'm starting my family, so I'm okay. Out there, expecting. So okay. Yeah. So oh, okay. Okay. Just found out it's a baby boy. So that's what's up. Congratulations. Yeah, so. See now, now that now that says a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, now especially with all the things you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Cause now it's for real. Yeah. You know? Stuff. Yeah, I got respond. I got a lot of responsibilities. Not for my life, not for her life, but for the child's life. So yeah. definitely got it. Um. Well, I guess that goes to my next question. Why you want to do this? So. Yeah. Just. I. I grew up, a family home base. Like, if I put a dish in, the sink, mm -hmm. or my brother put a dish in the sink, it don't matter who put the dish in the sink. If the dish need to be clean, the dish need to be clean. So everything, I'm, I, I grew up in a family, I'm the baby of seven kids. Mm. So if something needed to be done around this, we all gathered and did it. As I started to get older, my family started to branch out and everybody here and there. And I, I wanted to bring my family back together. I love being around family. I love having family. Family, family means more to me than money, means more to me than anything. Uh, so when it came down to it, I wanted to bring my family back because I remember those I vividly I remember those days where we didn't have nothing but it was just smiles and laughs because we was around each other so at, at the end of the day I want to get back to that and I want to basically not only solidify my place in, in the world so that my family can really have a name better than better than what we started and actually and it's like help my new family you know what I mean have have, a, have something to call their own like that's what I want to do so I want to my, I'm driven not by just something I love, but by my family. Like it's, I, 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 I can't help it. I, I, yeah, man. I feel you, man. That's the only thing that drives me. Yeah. That's so. It. Yeah, that's what's up. And just, just the, just the fact that when you, as a, as a young man, and you the baby, mm -hmm. but you have your older brothers and your older sisters, and not even your parents look to you for things. I, being my, my father always called me the youngest but oldest. Yeah, so like anything happened, like I mean, if, if, if when I was in college, if rent was had to be paid, I got a scholarship. I sent home my scholarship check. I, had it, I got you. Don't worry about it, because I want to take. I want to make sure a family okay. 
So. And then little idiot, like having a having a woman now, and a kid is like you. She look up to you to do everything. And it's like, see if I do it or I don't. And if I don't, then ain't nobody else gonna do it. So. Speaking of that, I mean, it's, you know, you know, life can be a fiance can be cool with Salt Lake. She from She's from Salt Lake. Oh. She's from Provo, Utah. <sighs> She's she's uh Polynesian. She's Tongan. Oh, she's Tongan. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I spent like five years in Hawaii. Yeah. So, uh, so any of my Tongans out there, Fifi Hockey. I know <laughs> I know all that man. I just she be speaking to me, it's funny. It's like, <laughs> yeah. It's cool, man. It's I it, it wasn't a, it I was intrigued by it and I, I liked everything about it, but it was more on the the, the mindset play. I mean of course if somebody say I fell in love with you, uh could fell in love with your mind first sight, no. I, I seen it and thought she was beautiful, long hair down her back. And it, so it was, it was, it was just like, I'm like, man, I, I like her. But I'm like, it was my last semester in college, but she was her first semester. So she's 21, 23. So she, when I seen them, like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't want to start this, but it just happened. It, it was no. Yeah. So it happened. So yeah. So she, she was born. In, she was born in Tonga. Wow. Then her family moved out over to uh, Provo, yeah, and she got family up and down Salt Lake. But uh, basically, that's it, really. So I, I mean, she would, she would, we would like it, but anyway, yeah. if yeah. If, it, if it if it involves me doing something I love yeah. and being able to pay the bills or do whatever I gotta do to take care of her, yeah. it could be it could be here, it could be Ethiopia, it don't matter. <laughs> yeah. She ride with me to the end because I'm gonna ride with her, so it's. Yeah. It's, that's how it is. If you had one thing to say to the fans, you said to me, but um, if you had anything to say to the Salt Lake fans, what would you say? For, for them, you know, just the last thing you were able to say to them to sell yourself, what would you say? Just, I lived in a beehive state. I know the way. So when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter if I'm on I 15, from up and down, it's a family based state. So I want to give you guys. Uh, side of my family, so I can feel at home with you guys. So that's the basically the way. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's it. So, uh, so where do we go from here? Because I, I talked to the one, I talked to the one coach, and Where's Matt? yeah, Where's he? he was basically asking me, do I have any uh, family out there? My cousin, it's his last semester out there, so really don't. Uh, my my girl family, they they really do their own little thing, and. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have. So you wouldn't have housing up there. And he told me he basically was saying that if uh, if I don't got housing, basically I don't, he don't know where if we can go from there. So. Um. I tell you, I, I tell you, I have to call Rocky too. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I like, no, no, you. Had, there's like three guys that I like that I make sure to talk to. Um, what I'm gonna do is. Uh, my, I wish my coach, my coach was supposed to come, he couldn't make it because he had to go to another one, or another one of these. But I'm mm -hmm. gonna e email me tonight. Do you have anything on Huddle? Do you have mm -hmm. any tape? I got a snow film and I got, I got. Send me that tape on my on that email mm -hmm. tonight. I'm going to call him tomorrow okay. and let him know about you. Okay. Um, the that's the only thing that we. It's just how we have been going back and forth mm -hmm. about you, especially you and your boy, because he's probably the best, best corner out there uh, today. Actually better than the ones we had in Dallas. Um, mm -hmm. We're looking for a corner. I'm you know, deep back in a linebacker. Mm -hmm. So, so y'all might need somewhere. I can play in space. Like. Let me, you know, let us talk. Like, just because we didn't ask off for now, we just, I got to go back and talk. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, sure. mm -hmm. that stuff. But yeah. at the worst, you know, I definitely got to see you in Jefferson. I like Colorado. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, you'll love me. Right. I'll, I'll let him know. Um, yeah, definitely. I like. I mean, what well, I'm talking about, like in the next 48 hours, I want to, you know, have a conversation where he was at least talking to me. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, because like I like how the feel is with you guys. Like, like you ever see, you ever see one of those coaches where it's like they want you to be a coachable player, mm -hmm. but they don't know how to coach you. Yeah. It's not that it's not nothing to do. They just don't know how to coach you. Right. They may know how to coach another person. Yeah. I, I like how you move because you you look at it, pay attention to every aspect and realize that, oh, this player may need this, this player may need that. And I seen you, you was looking, all right, he a bigger dude because I'm too, I'm 255. I'm too, yeah. so I'm 250. So yeah. I'm, but I'm. But you athletic though. 
Yeah. You move well in space, which is what I like. Mm -hmm. Be very coachable. That's just what they want from me. And, and you know, there's other things. That, like, other attributes are like, all the fucking toys and all the mm -hmm. stuff. You can play ball, you can play ball. Yeah. You, know, you, you, you move really well, especially with these little guys in space. You mm -hmm. have to have a big guy. Mm -hmm. so, and then when I'm here, I just want to pass. No, I like you, dude. And yeah. you're coachable, too. So, you know, I, I definitely want to get coached. Yeah, because, I mean, he, he, he was like, I'm, I'm gonna definitely try to keep because I, I just, it's, it's nothing to do with my my sister. Oh, I said my sister, my my girl's uh, family, but I have a family own. I'm not. Yeah, I don't want to be not, up not, under nobody. Right, right. And it's you, 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 I, yeah, because I, I, right now we we stay with my parents. Mm -hmm. So by staying with my parents, I don't want to go from staying under somebody else's rules and household to going to answer my. You know what I mean? It's, 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 and, you, and, you, and you're right. And you're Probably yeah, especially when you go from especially when you go from college, college. you go from college to oh my god, because you in college is like, yeah, yeah, and then you, <laughs> I know. man, I'm telling you, so it's like already, so yeah, it's like, and then you, it's like it's all on you, it's your own, right? Because my college, when you become a junior, a senior, it's like you got the townhouse, you you off campus, you got your own little place, so it's like. I'm so used to being on my own. I get, yeah, you got, I'm, you got to go somebody else yeah. You know, I feel you though. And then you, and, you. and then you, you got a woman there, so it was like you can't. Oh my, listen, man, it's, I, it's I, I, you know what I mean. <laughs> so and that's you know, and then when, when I, I'm, I'm not being honest, man, be honest, we're not we don't hear a ton of stories. I mean, I hear a ton of stories. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But being there's just players that I like, I'm like, all right. Situation, all right. Yeah. Let me try to work it out. Mm -hmm. Let me, like I said, let me. I'm gonna say email me tonight. Yeah. And uh, give me give me 48 hours before okay. I talk to my coach. You know, and I, I, I seriously, like, I, I can play. Man. Thank I you. Mean, I mean, really, I mean, seriously. Man. We'll see. We'll, we will. We will we'll we'll see. Definitely, I appreciate it. Right. Yeah, because I got a story to tell from all the way from me committing out of high school yeah. to me being at Toledo to because I was, oh and also after the after my pro day I was talking to the Jets. Like on the phone with the Jets, uh, but I, I had it falling out my age. Uh, Nate, Nate Oaken, Nate Oaken, I called him. I called him Nate Dogs. It was just Nate Oaken for Legacy Sports. Yeah, and it, it was. Uh, he he followed Luchette. He was he was Luchette, but he mainly was only worried about Luchette. Like that's it. That's it. And it was. Legacy is a small agency. Yeah. They, 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 they had a couple guys. Yeah, yeah, and that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, like I literally was like, "Are you calling the Jets?" I'm like, "Are you calling the teams?" I, I, and the day, the day I, I terminated the contract was when I asked him. I said, "Hey, hey man, because we, we wouldn't talk like months or two months." Yeah, because I'm just like I'm not. I'm like that doesn't work. But I'm working out constantly. My my train is like emailing and trying to get in touch with him. Like, so what are we going to do as far as what does he need to look forward to? I asked him like, "Hey man, when was the last time you talked to a team?" He was like, "Ah, oh, probably like two weeks ago." Yeah, you know I mean, so I got a story, man. I got a story that I well, need to be heard. You need me up. I got you.